Aloha and mahalo for joining me. I'm Janin and thank you for being here. So I want to show you something. I want to see if you can tell how this shirt is pulling over to the left. Now, this is a really inexpensive t-shirt. Now, in my previous video, I talked about how you treat your clothes. Do you treat it well or do you treat it like you don't really care depending on the price? because sometimes price makes a big difference for people and sometimes people don't even buy expensive clothes but if you pay if you tend to pay a little bit more for something you tend to to treat it a lot better but for example I wanted to show you that this shirt was really inexpensive it was I don't even remember where I got it from I've had it for a couple of years but it wasn't very much and I just wanted to use it for a shirt to just wear around the house because it's really thin, it's really lightweight, and it's really cool because it, I live here in Hawaii and it's really hot here all the time. We have beautiful weather, you know, most of the year. So, but what I want to show you is that the cheaper it is, you have to be careful when you're buying something that's really cheap because it's made really cheaply. It's not made very well at all. But specifically right now, I wanna show you one of the things that they do to make it really cheap. Now, when the factory is cutting the shirt out, they layer, layers, many, many layers of the material all on top of each other. Sometimes the stack can be about this high and it's just many, many layers of yardage of fabric. And then they have the pattern that sits on top of this big stack. And there is this machine that pulls down that, and it's done many different ways. Sometimes there's an automatic machine that cuts the pattern out, or sometimes there's a, a machine, a cutting tool that someone has to literally pull down that's attached to the ceiling. And then they manually have to cut that pattern out around so they're cutting through this really thick layer of fabric and it's like sometimes hundreds of layers of fabric right it depends on how thin or how thick the fabric is and now i my aunt used to work in a factory so i actually went in uh, many 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 years ago and i actually saw this being done so that's how i know how these things are are made now what happens is and I'll show you, I'll put up a picture, but I'll show you how when they lay the pattern of the shirt on the fabric, there's a grain on the fabric, right? Like if you've ever woven, if you were a kid ever in elementary school and you ever had to weave something together, like rope or string or something like that, you always have the rows of string going this way, right? On a loom or or any type of frame that you're you're creating this thing on and then you have the crosswise grain of the thread going across so what happens is they're supposed to lay the pattern of the shirt straight up and down according to the grain the straight grain but what they do in order to cut to get more out of that fabric is they lay the pattern on the side or kind of like sideways this way. So again, I'll show you, I'll put up a, a picture of the correct way and the wrong way. But what happens is when they put the pattern on that fabric that they're going to cut and they put it this way, all of a sudden the straight grain of the shirt is going crooked. So what happens is when they sew it together, all the pieces are off. So now it doesn't really show up as well in the store because they coat the fabrics with what they call formaldehydes. It's just chemicals to make the fabric stiff and make it look nice. But once you wash it and all that chemicals come out, then the fabrics go back into their natural state. So if you notice, if you can tell, this shirt is pulling over to the left here. Now, that means that instead of the the pattern 
being straight on the straight grain like this, like how it should have been laid, they cut it or they laid it on the fabric this way. So now everything is kind of pulling this way because the straight grain is not where it's supposed to be. So if you notice this side seam here, I'm not sure if you can see it, but this side seam is pulling over to the left because the back pattern is crooked like this when the pattern, this back piece of the shirt should have been cut straight up and down it was cut like this so the pattern uh, so the fabric is running this way now i know that's kind of a lot of detail and you may not be interested but i just want to share this because i see this a lot with people and, and it goes with men's clothes too they do the same thing it doesn't matter if it's a ma male or a female shirt or a, or a man or a woman's shirt they cut it off because they are able to get more cuttings out of that piece of yardage but what happens is it throws everything off if you notice too the buttons on the center piece right here is pulling over to the left when it's supposed to be going straight up and down so it just throws everything off so if you've ever noticed you're wearing a shirt and it's turning over to one side right you find yourself pulling it back because somehow it feels off and it feels strange so without even recognizing what's going on you, I bet you found yourself pulling that shirt back to get it straight but what happens is it'll never go and sit back straight on your body if it's cut crooked before it was even sewn together so this one is really obvious and I, I hope you can see it from where you are, but the side seam is curving over to the front where it should be straight up and down on the side. So that's another indication that this shirt was cut wrong and it was just made really cheaply. And you have to be careful because sometimes they don't sew it together very well either. So sometimes you'll have seams coming apart or, or the hem coming apart. So when you're buying clothes, be aware of little things like that. And depending on the type of fabric it is, sometimes you can actually see the grain of the fabric going crooked. Now, if you're not aware of these kind of things, sometimes you don't even pay attention. But sometimes it's very obvious. And the cheaper it is, the cheaper it costs to buy, the cheaper it's been made. So sometimes I would tell you don't even waste your money even if it's cheap because I know a lot of t-shirts now you can get for like five dollars seven dollars and if it's made crooked like this it's gonna be crooked on your body and you're gonna be finding yourself a little annoyed sometimes that it's just something's not right so I would say don't even waste your money if when you first find it in the store that it looks kind of off or sometimes it might take a little while before you start to recognize things and if it's doing this already it's probably not going to last very much longer and the fabric tends to wear out quickly as well because a t-shirt is just knitted fabric it's all just knitted together and because it's so stretchy the fibers tend to wear out quickly so be aware of things like that i just wanted to show you something like this because i see it a lot um, when I'm out in public and even people that I I talk to I notice these things of course they probably aren't paying attention but because that's just what I do right I notice people's clothes and things like that so be aware of those things and I would say don't waste your money if it's super cheap and it looks like it's made super cheap and let me know what you think in the comments and if you have any questions let me know and please subscribe to this channel so that i can share all the things that i know with you and please share this video as well with anyone who you know would get great value out of it because i like to share all the things that i know and i think it just really helps people and that's what i love to do is help people and I do have a 20 minute complimentary consultation if you'd like to work with me please click on the link and let's get started and I thank you for being here and I hope you have a great day. Aloha!